Good morning everyone, welcome to another class of Yoga with Carlton. If you can come into a cross leg seated position and sit in a way that is comfortable for you to sit. Align the back of your skull with your sacrum. And let your arms come to rest onto your thighs. Activate your feet, spread the toes, spread the balls of your feet. Close your eyes. And give yourself a moment or two as you're settling down into your practice, feeling as if you've stepped into your own safe space, your own yogic sanctuary. So as you go through your class, stay very focused in every stage of your pose. Try not to allow yourself to be distracted by anything that's going on around you, anything that's happened before this moment or what, or keep the focus on yourself rather than focusing on what you might do uh, following the practice, staying in your own body. In this way, you stay very alert to what is going on for you. Ensure that the place that you're practicing is, is safe and is uncluttered. And if you have any injuries, be mindful of the injuries and sure that you've got approval for being able to undertake some of the poses that you will do today. If you do engage in some of the poses and you experience uh, pain or high levels of pain, then ease back from that. Now focusing on your breath, so with Ujjayi, inhale through the nose, so you're constricting the breath, feels like a snoring uh, sound as you breathe in through the nose. Feeling your ribs as they expand, and then exhale through the nose. At the end of the exhale, pull your belly in, pull it in, pull it up, feel your diaphragm as it spreads out to side. And then relax, relax your belly completely. Breathe in, inhale through the nose, inhale seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath, hold seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale completely, then pull your belly in. Pull it in, pull it up. Feeling this right down from your pelvic bowl as you lift your belly, you lift your diaphragm, this chest is lifted. Relax your belly. One more like this. Deep breath. Inhaling for seven. Holding the breath for seven. Exhale for seven. At the end of the exhale, pull belly in. Pull it all the way in. Now feeling this, focusing on your pelvic bowl and move your belly away from pelvis. Lift your diaphragm, lift your chest. Lengthening your ribs away from sacrum. And then release. So the intent today is to focus in into the pelvic area. We're working into hips and opening it into the pelvic area. So keeping that as your focus. Your pranayama is shoelace pose. So bring your left foot over your right thigh. Your left foot is just above your knee. Reach out with your heels. Your right foot is under your left thigh and knee. Alternate nostril breathing. Fold the first two fingers down of your right hand and use your right thumb to block right nostril. Inhale through your left nostril, inhale for five. Use your ring finger to block left nostril. Both nostrils are blocked. Hold the breath, hold for 20. So your feet are active, reach out with your heels, flex, toes to shins, close your eyes. Exhale 
Exhale through your right nostril for 10. Inhale, right nostril for five. Lock in both nostrils and hold the breath. Hold for 20. The active spine is long. Exhale, left nostril for 10. And release. Change the cross of your legs. Shoelace with your right foot over your left. Again, make the pose easier for you. You can have the foot onto the calf, your right foot onto the floor, or stay in cross leg seated. Fold the first two fingers down of your left hand and use your ring finger to block right nostril. Inhale through the left nostril, inhale for five. Lock both nostrils and hold the breath, hold for 20. Exhale through right nostril, exhale for 10. Inhale through the right nostril for five. Lock both nostrils and hold the breath, hold for 20. Feeling the energy of the breath as it moves through your body. Exhale through left nostril, exhale for 10. And release. Bring the soles of your feet together for Bhadakanasana. Flex your toes back towards your shins, your heels are about 12 inches away from your uh, pelvic bone. Bring your hands back behind you, but just behind your hips, and feel for pushing the floor away as you lift your sternum. From here, inhale, inhale for 10. Hold the breath for 10. Keep the spine long, chest is lifted, feet are active. Bring your hands forward of your shins and exhale completely. Exhale for a mouth. Uddiyana, tuck the chin to chest. Pull your belly in. Pull it in, pull it up. Spreading ribs, spread diaphragm. Keep feeling for hollowing your belly out. Relax your neck and let your shoulders be soft away from your ears. Now relax your belly, stay here, and then breathe in deeply. As you breathe, you're lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, allowing your body to fold forward. Leave with your chest if you can. And feel this right down from your pelvic bowl. Breathe in and lift your belly away from pelvis. Leave with your chest, exhaling as you fold. Your feet are still active. As you breathe in, expand your ribs out towards the side, right out towards your armpits. And exhale as you fold. Breathe into the back of your heart, deep breath. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, release. Push the floor away. Breathe in. 
as you come all the way on back up. Your next pose is seated side bend with one leg straight. So straighten your left leg. Your left leg reaches straight out in front of you. And tuck your right foot in so that your right heel is by your groin. Feet are active. If you can go further, you have the option of bringing your right foot back so that your right heel is by your right glute. Reach your right hand back and take hold of the ankle if you've taken your heel towards the glute. Otherwise, your fingertips are to the floor. Inhale, reach your left arm up and feel for opening through the left side ribs, lengthening out of by your left hip. And as you breathe out, your left hand is down on the inside of your left leg. Relax your left ear with left shoulder. Activate your feet, spread the toes. Now breathe in and lift your belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, relax your left shoulder away from left ear. If you're not holding your right foot with your hand, right hand, reach your right hand back so the fingertips are 12 inches from floor. And breathe in and lengthen out of left side. As you breathe out, feel as if you're reaching your left sit bone back. Inhale, reach your right arm up towards the sky. Spread the fingers. Chest opener. As you exhale, as you arc your chest forward, reaching that right arm straight back. Relax your neck. Breathe into the right side of your neck. Deep breath. And as you breathe out, you're reaching that right arm back away from right ear. Third arm position. On the next breath, as you inhale, reaching your right arm up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, reach your right arm forward over right ear. Deep breath, balloon the breath into your right side, left side ribs and keep lengthening out of left side. And as you breathe out, as you lengthen your right arm forward over right ear, glide your right sit bone back. Breathe in and expand your ribs. And as you breathe out, folding forward, hands down either side of your left foot. You can take hold of the foot, the ankle, the calf or hands to the floor. Feet are active, spread the toes as you reach forward with the ball of foot. Now breathe in and lengthen your side ribs away from hips. And exhale, lead with your chest as you fold. Keep the neck relaxed. As you breathe in, lift your belly, lift your diaphragm away from your left thigh. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward. Press your sit bone back to floor. And then breathe in as you lengthen the ribs away from sacrum. Pull your belly in. Exhale as you fold. One more breath here. Deep breath. Breathe to sternum and feeding your heart with this breath. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward. Inhale, release, push the floor away, breathe in as you're coming all the way on back up and then change. You're reaching your right foot forward and you're tucking your left foot in so the heel is by the groin. You have the option of going further by bringing your left foot back so that your left heel is by your left glute. Reach your left hand back and take hold of the ankle or the foot if you've taken your heel back. Otherwise, the fingertips are to the floor. Inhale, reach your right arm up, opening right side of your body. As you breathe out, right arm is down on the inside of your right leg and relax your right ear with right shoulder. If you're not holding your left foot with left hand, put your left hand up and reach it back 12 inches from the floor. Inhale, lift belly away from pelvis. Exhale. Relax your right shoulder away from right ear. Relax your right shoulder towards your right ear. 
And as you breathe in, lengthen your lower ribs away from sacrum. As you breathe out, gliding your left shoulder down. If you're not holding your foot, your left hand is 12 inches from floor. Now breathe into sternum. As you do so, moving, feel your moving chest upwards towards your chin. And as you breathe out, glide both shoulders away from ears. Chest opener. On the next breath, breathe in as you stretch your left arm up to sky, spread fingers. And as you breathe out, as you move your chest forward, reaching your left arm straight back. As you breathe, breathe to the back of heart, right between your shoulder blades. And as you breathe out, lengthening that left arm away from your left ear. Third arm position, on the next breath, stretch your left arm up to ceiling. And as you breathe out, lengthen your left arm forward over your left ear. Don't allow the hands to look become lower than your left ear. Breathe in and lift your right side ribs away from right hip. And as you breathe out, feel for lengthening, wrapping your left shoulder as you reach your left arm forward. Reach your left sit bone back. Now focusing right down into pelvic area and then breathe from there, lifting belly away from pelvic bone. Forward bend, exhale, your hands are down either side of your right foot. You can take hold of the foot, the ankle, the calf or the hands to the floor. Then breathe into lower back as you're lengthening lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, allowing your body to melt forward, belly's in. Breathe into sternum, deep breath and Feed yourself with this breath. Lead with your chest. Exhale as you're folding forward, belly's pulling in. As you breathe, lengthening your ribs away from sacrum. Keep the spine long, exhaling as you fold. One more breath there, deep breath. Expand, expand your wings, spread your lungs to the side ribs. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward. Inhale, release, push the floor away, breathe in as you come all the way on back up. Coming into your abdominal sequence uh, now. So in this sequence, you're starting with elbow to knee, where you'll lie down on your, you'll lie down on your back. Your hands, uh, I'll just quick. So you lie down onto your back. Your hands are clasped behind your head and neck. Your back is tweaky. You can uh, pad the low back with a towel or fold your mat. Do this with your feet on the floor if your back is tweaky. So hands are clasped behind your head and neck. With feet on the floor, demonstration, Inhale, you lift head, shoulder blades up. You pause the breath. When you exhale, you curl your tailbone up. Your elbows are to left knee. You pull your belly all the way in and press your lower back to the floor. If your back allows you to go further, you can lift one foot off the floor and hold it here. You can do the knee bend or straighten that leg, keeping the other foot onto the floor. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, lower head and shoulders to the floor and place your feet down onto the floor. Otherwise, everyone clasp hands behind head and neck. Lift your feet up off the floor unless you're keeping your feet to the floor because of your back. Now press your lower back to the floor and as you breathe in, lengthening ribs away from sacrum. Lift your head and shoulder blades up. Hold the breath. As you exhale, curl tailbone up. Reach your elbows to left knee. Straighten your right leg. So reach your right leg forward about 45 degrees angle. Keep the chest lifted. Relax your right hip and then send your right thigh forward away from waist. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, bring your head to center. Hold the breath and press your lower back down to the floor. 
Exhale, curl to elbow up. Your elbows are to your right knee. Straighten your left leg. Relax your left hip. Reach your left thigh forward. Reach out with the ball of your foot. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back down to the floor. Exhale, curl to elbow up. Your elbows are to left knee. Reach your right leg forward about 45 degrees angle. Spread the toes. Now lengthen your right thigh forward away from right hip. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath. Exhale, curl to elbow up. Your elbows are to your right knee. Straighten left leg. Reach your right elbow up so the shoulder blades are off the floor. Send your left leg forward. Pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back down to the floor. Exhale, curl to elbow up. Reach your elbows to your left knee. Reach your right leg forward. Reach your left elbow up. The shoulder blades are off the floor. Relax your right hip, and then reach your right thigh forward away from waist. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl to elbow and up. Your elbows are to your right knee. And straighten left leg. Relax your left hip. Reach your left thigh forward. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath. Exhale, release. Lower your head and shoulders to the floor and place the soles of your feet down onto the floor. Coming into another abdominal pose and I'll demonstrate uh, this pose. This is star, star spiral pulse. The demonstration for this pose is your hands are clasped behind your head and neck. If your back is tweaky, you're doing this with feet onto the floor. So this is a pose for if your back is tweaky. You'll take an inhale and lift your head and shoulder blades up. You hold the breath. You exhale, you curl your tailbones up, your elbows are to left knee. Now lift your right foot up if your foot is okay, and then reach it up towards the sky. Then breathe into your right hip. And as you exhale, you pulse that right heel up three times. At the end of the third, you reach your right heel up as you lift your chest and you reach your elbows up to the sky. You pull your belly in. Inhale, bring your head to center, place your foot to the floor, and exhale, continuing that way. So that's if your back is tweaky. Otherwise, hands are clasped behind the head and neck. Lift your feet up off the floor. Bend the knees, flex the toes to shins. Inhale, lift your head, shoulder blades up, away from the floor. Hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbone up and reach your elbows to the left knee. Reach your right leg up, flex the toes towards the shin. Bend your right knee slightly and then as you curl tailbone up, pulse, reaching up with that right heel, pulse and pulse. Now keep reaching your right heel up towards the sky. Pull belly in. Reach your elbows up as if you're unlocking the shoulders. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back down to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Your elbows are to your right knee. Reach your left leg up. Bend your left knee slightly, and then pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep reaching your left heel up towards the sky. Lift your chest and reach your elbows up. Now pull belly in and press your lower back down. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, elbows to left knee, reaching your right leg up. Now curl tailbone up and then pulse. Pulse, keep reaching that right heel up, pulse. Keep reaching the heel away from you. Pull belly in and press your lower back down to the floor. Inhale, come back to center, bend the knees, hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbone up, your elbows are to right knee, left leg is reaching up. Now pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep reaching your left heel up, keep the chest lifted, pull belly in. 
Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath, and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Your elbows are to left knee. Right leg is reaching up. The knee is bent slightly. Now curl tailbone up and then pulse, reaching up with that right heel. Pulse. One more pulse. Now pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath. Your lower back presses to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Your elbows are to right knee. Left leg is reaching up towards the sky. Bend the knees slightly. As you curl tailbone up, Pulse, reaching up with that left heel. Pulse and pulse. Keep reaching your left heel up to sky. Pull lower belly down to the floor. Inhale, come back to centre. Bend the knees, hold the breath. Exhale, release. Lower your head and shoulders to floor and place the soles of your feet down onto the floor. Your next pose is bridge. So the soles of your feet are on the floor. Move your heels back so the heels are aligned with your sit bones or they are hip distance apart. Reach your fingertips down and brush your heels with your fingertips and let your arms relax by your side. So your next pose is bridge. Uh, today, I will say, uh, part way through bridge, I will say cross your left foot over your right thigh. So you'll be doing this. This is a demonstration here. When you're crossing the foot over the thigh, you're moving it across there and you're gliding your left thigh out towards the left. So the, halfway through the pose, I will be giving you that cue. That's what it looks like when it comes to that. Arms relaxed by your side, shoulders away from your ears. Press your feet to the floor. Breathe in and move belly away from pelvis. Exhale, tilt pelvis, lift pelvis up away from the floor. Breathe into lower back as you lengthen lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, push the floor away with your feet as you lift up. Breathe in and lengthen lower ribs away from waist. And as you exhale, move your chest towards your chin. Anchor into your right foot. Breathe in, lift your left foot up, draw the knee to chest. And as you breathe out, hook your right left foot over your right thigh just above the knee. And then breathe into lower back, deep breath. And as you breathe out, you're lengthening your left thigh away from you. One more breath like this, deep breath. And as you breathe out, lengthen, keep moving your left thigh bone away from you. On the next breath, breathe in, release your left foot, draw the left knee to chest. And as you breathe out, place your left foot down to the floor. Anchor left foot to floor, breathe in, lift your right leg up and draw the right knee to chest. And as you breathe out, hook your right foot over your left thigh just above the knee, reach out with heels. And breathe into right hip, deep breath. And as you breathe out, you're tractioning your right thigh towards the right. As you breathe in, keep moving belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, keep sending your right thigh away from you. On the next breath, bend your right knee, draw the right knee to chest. And as you breathe out, place your right foot to the floor. Now breathe in and lengthen your ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, send thighs and knees away from you. One more breath. Feed yourself with this breath. And as you breathe out, tilt pelvis as you lower upper back to floor. Tilt pelvis, lower mid back to floor. Tilt pelvis, lower all the way down to the floor. From here, roll to your right side. Bring your right hand down by your chest. Inhale. And as you breathe out, push the floor away as you're coming up, using your right hand to support your head and neck. Come onto your knees for your next pose, which is dolphin. So measuring up for dolphin, bring your hands onto your biceps to measure your distance. Your elbows are down under the shoulders 
and then reach your hands forward, spreading the fingers, the web of the hands is spreading. Keep the elbows aligned with the shoulders so that it doesn't go wider than the shoulders. If your shoulder tweaky and you don't want to have as much weight, you can clasp your hands in this way. Relax your neck, relax your shoulders, relax your upper back. Then breathe into upper back, lifting, spreading upper back and curl toes under. Exhale, lift knees off the floor and then push the floor away with your forearms. Move chest to thighs and knees. Breathe into sternum, deep breath. And as you breathe out, move your chest, in. chest is moving back to thighs and knees. Deep breath, broaden your upper back. Now use your hands and forearms, exhale as you reach back. Option to go further with working with one leg up. If you're coming into this, anchor into your right leg, breathe in. Lift your left leg up. And as you breathe out, reach your left leg straight back, spread the toes. Breathe into left hip, deep breath. And as you breathe out, keep reaching your left thigh bone away from you. One more breath here, deep breath. And exhale, keep sending that left leg back. On the next breath, lower your right foot to the floor and anchor into right foot. Inhale, lift your right, lift your right leg up and as you breathe out, reach it back. Then breathe into your right hip, deep breath. And as you breathe out, you're lengthening your right thigh bone away from you. On the next breath, you're lengthening your right thigh away from you. And as you breathe out, lowering your right foot to the floor. One more breath in, deep inhale. Exhale, release. Bend the knees and come all the way down to the floor. Use your hands, push the floor away as you come onto your knees. Okay, you'll be coming into standing uh, now for your uh, the next sequences of poses coming into your salutations. So in your salutations, one of these uh, poses will be a pose which is called uh, arrow arrow lunge. So I'll demonstrate the arrow lunge so that you can see this, and we'll then work fairly continuously through these. Your arrow lunge, uh, if I do this from here, your hands reach up, you're coming down, you fold, you step back. Once, once you step back, you're releasing the foot, so the toes are not curled under on the arrow lunge. The foot is flat, and then you're lifting up, straightening that back leg. So this is where you're going with the arrow lunge uh, for this. Come to the front of your mat. Stand with your feet together, lift the toes, spread the toes, the balls of your feet. Feet about, uh, feet about hip distance apart or they're together. If your back is tweaky, about fit, fit hip distance apart. As you exhale, hands together at your chest. Press your feet to the floor and feel yourself really grounded. Feel the, using the mat, the earth as your foundation. Then inhale, reach your arms out and up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in, hands to the floor. Lunge, breathe in, step your left leg back. Bend your left knee, left knees to the floor. Pat your left knee if you need it. Then push the floor away as you reach your arms up towards the sky. And as you breathe out, hands are down and step your right leg back for plank. Reaching back into heels. From here, bend the knees. And as you breathe out, lower down, keeping elbows tucked in. Cobra, inhale, move chest and ribs forward as you're lengthening your legs back. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Lunge, breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands, your right knees to the floor, and push the floor away as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. As you breathe out, hands are down, step your right leg forward for forward bend. Inhale, stand, lengthen through the spine as you reach your arms to the sky. And as you breathe out, hands together at chest. Feet presses to floor, inhale, arms up, telescoping ribs. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. Lunge, breathe in, step your right leg back, bend your right knee, right knees to the floor, push the floor away as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. 
Exhale, hands down. Step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels. Bend the knees and as you breathe out, lower down. Keep elbows in. Cobra, inhale. Move chest and ribs forward as you lengthen your legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Lunge, breathe in. Step your right leg forward between the hands. Left knees to the floor. Push the floor away as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands down. Step left foot forward for forward bend. Inhale, stand and lengthen through the spine as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands together at chest. Feet presses down. Inhale, arms up, telescoping ribs. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. Lunge, breathe in, step your left leg back. Bend your left knee, left knees to the floor. Push the floor away as you reach in your arms up to sky. Exhale, hands down. Step your right leg back for plank. Reaching back into heels. From here, bend the knees, and as you breathe out, lower down, keeping elbows in. Inhale, cobra. Move chest and ribs forward as you lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Lunge, breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands, right knees to the floor, and your arms are reaching to sky. Exhale, hands down, step right leg forward, forward bend. Inhale, stand, lengthen through the spine as you reach your arms to sky. Exhale, hands together by chest. Inhale, arms up, telescoping ribs. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. Lunge, breathe in, step your right leg back. Bend the right knee, push the floor away as you reach your arms to sky. Exhale, hands down, step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, and as you breathe out, lower down, keep elbows in. Cobra, inhale, move chest and ribs forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Lunge, breathe in, step your right leg forward between the hands, left knees to the floor. Push the floor away as you reach your arms to sky. Exhale, hands down, step your left foot forward for forward bend. Inhale, stand, lengthen through the spine as you reach your arms to sky. Exhale, hands together at chest. Inhale, arms up, telescoping ribs. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. Arrow lunge, so keep the hands to the floor and as you breathe in, step your left leg back. Place the knee to the floor and then release the foot. Now lift your knee off the floor and reach back. That back foot, your left foot is straight as an arrow. The calf is reaching to the sky. The back of your thigh is reaching up, but you're lengthening back into that left leg. Exhale, place your knee to the floor and step your right leg back for plank. Lower down, keeping elbows tucked in. Inhale, cobra. Move chest down, ribs forward as you lengthen your legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Arrow lunge, breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands. Release your foot so the top of the foot of your right foot is on the floor. Keep the hands to the floor and then lengthen back into your right leg. The back of the calf, the back of your thigh is reaching to the sky. Inhale, step your left foot, your right foot forward and then stand, coming up. Hands together, chest on exhale. Then inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. Arrow lunge, breathe in, step your right leg back. Release the back foot. You can have the hands to the floor or hands onto your left thigh, traction your thigh forward. If you're going further, reach your arms out and up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your left leg back for plank. Reaching back into heels, and as you breathe out, lower down, keeping elbows in. Inhale, cobra, moving chest and ribs forward as you lengthen your legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Arrow lunge, breathe in, step your right foot forward between the hands. Release your back foot, straighten that back leg. Hands are either on the floor, on your right thigh, traction in your thigh forward, or you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. Press into that right foot and then lift the belly away from right thigh. Exhale, hands down. Step your left foot forward for forward bend. Inhale, stand. Lengthen through the spine as you reach your arms to the sky. And exhale, hands together at chest. Inhale, arms up, telescoping ribs. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. Arrow lunge, breathe in. Step your left leg back. Release the back foot and then hands the either the floor, the calf, on the thigh, or reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. 
Exhale, hands down, step your right leg back for plank. Reach back into heels. Exhale, lower down, keep elbows in. Cobra, inhale. Move chest and ribs forward as you lengthen the legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Arrow lunge, breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands. Release your right foot. Then lift your knee off the floor, straighten your right leg. Keep the hands to the floor, onto your left thigh, traction your thigh forward, or you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down, step in your right leg forward for forward bend. Inhale, stand, lengthen through the spine as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands together at chest. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. Arrow lunge, breathe in, step your right leg back. Release the back foot, knees off the floor, traction the thigh back. Hands are onto your left thigh, reach it forward or reach your arms out and up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your left leg back for plank, reaching back into heels, lower down on exhale, cobra, inhale, move chest and ribs forward as you lengthen your legs back, exhale, press back, downward dog, arrow lunge, breathe in, step your right foot forward between the hands, left knees to the floor, then release the foot, lift the knee off the floor, traction your right thigh forward, reach your arms up towards the sky, exhale, hands down, and step your left foot forward for forward bend. Inhale, stand, lengthen through the spine as you reach your arms to the sky. And exhale, hands together at chest. Chair pose, bend the knees, and as you breathe in, sweeping your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. As you breathe in, move your chest forward away from thighs and knees. And as you breathe out, step or hop it back into plank. Lower down, keep elbows in. Cobra, inhale. Move chest and ribs forward as you lengthen your legs back. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. It warrior two, inhale. Step your left foot forward between the hands. Your right foot is flat to the short edge of the mat. Line up your front heel, left heel with the arc of your right foot. Your arms are reaching out to side, bend the front knee. Reverse warrior, inhale. Reach your right arm up, open right side of your body. As you breathe out, reverse it. The right hand is now below or above your right knee. Reach your left arm up towards the sky. Press into your right leg and inhale, lengthen out of your right side. As you press your left foot to the floor, reach your left arm over left ear. Deep breath, lift sternum as if you're moving chest up towards your chin. And as you breathe out, keep lengthening out of your right side as you reach your left arm over left ear. Use your left arm to pull your body up, right hand supports your head and your neck. Place your left hand down onto your left thigh and then reach your right arm back towards your right foot for head to ankle prep. Press into your left leg and as you breathe in, lengthening your ribs away from your left hip. And as you breathe out, keep gliding your left thigh towards the left as you bring your forehead towards your right shin. Then breathe into your left side ribs, balloon them out towards the left knee. And as you breathe out, bringing your forehead towards your right shin. One more breath here, deep breath. And as you breathe out, drawing the head closer towards that right shin. Inhale, release. Bring your hands uh, on the inside of your left foot. Is your left foot towards the left edge of the mat. Your next pose is uh, Mancun stretch or lizard. So you're reaching, your hands on the inside of your left foot. You're reaching back into your right heel. The right knee is off the floor. From here, press into your left foot. And as you breathe in, lengthen belly away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward over the edge of the mat. If you can go further, bend your elbow so that the forearms are down onto the floor. Press into your left leg and then breathe in, glide your ribs forward away from your left hip. And as you breathe out, reach back into your right heel. If that's stronger than you want it to be, place your right knee to the floor. Two more breaths here, deep breaths. And as you breathe out, as you fold forward, pull belly in, reach back into that right heel. 
One more breath into your spot. Deep breath. Exhale, release. Place your right knee to the floor, hands are under the shoulders, and step your left leg back for plank. Then reach back into heels, and as you breathe out, lower down, keeping elbows tucked in. Once you're all the way to the floor, clasp your hands behind your back for boat. Then inhale, lift chest, lift legs, lengthen your legs back, spread the toes. Move your chest forward towards your chin, but relax your chin towards your chest. Breathe in and lift. Exhale, release, lower down. Hands are under the shoulders. Breathe into low back, curl toes under. And exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Feel for push and flow away in your downward dog. Warrior two, breathe in, step your right foot forward between the hands. Your left foot is square to the short edge of the mat and your front heels align with the arc of the back foot. Arms reach out. Reverse warrior, breathe in, stretching your left arm up, open left side body. And as you breathe out, reverse it. The left hand is now below or above your knee, not underneath, and your right arm reaches up to sky. Press into your left leg. As you breathe in, lengthen out of your left side. As you press your right foot to the floor, reach your right arm over your right ear. Spread the fingers. On the next breath, lift sternum and keep moving chest to chin. And as you breathe out, reach your right arm over your right ear. Keep lengthening out of left side. Inhale, release. Use your right arm to pull your body up. Left arm supports your head. Head to ankle prep. Place your right hand onto right thigh. Bring your left hand towards your left foot. Press your right foot to floor. And as you breathe in, lengthen your ribs away from right hip. And as you breathe out, glide your right thigh towards the right, whilst bringing your forehead towards your left shin, towards your left foot. Balloon the breath into your right side ribs and feel your intercostal muscles opening out towards the right. And as you breathe out, as you glide your right thigh towards the right, you're bringing your forehead towards your left shin. One more like this, deep breath. And as you breathe out, feel for opening out. Thighs moving towards the right, but your forehead is moving to left shin. Inhale, release. Walk your hands forward so the hands are on the inside of your right foot. Move your right foot towards the right edge of the mat. Turn so that you're on the ball of your left foot. Reach your left heel back as far as it will go for you. And press down into both feet. As you breathe in, lengthen belly away from pelvis. Pull your belly in, exhale as you're folding forward, hovering over the edge of the mat. If you can go further today, bend the elbow so that the forearms are down onto the floor. Or you can place it onto a block and you're reaching your left heel back away from you. If that's stronger than you want it to be, you can place your left knee to the floor. Then press your right foot to floor, and breathe in, glide your ribs forward away from right hip. And as you breathe out, you're folding deeper and reach back into your left heel. Breathe into lower back as you lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out, send your right sit bone back. One more like this, deep breath. Exhale, release. Place your left knee to the floor. Hands are under the shoulders. Step your right leg back for plank. Then reach back into heels. And as you breathe out, lower down, keeping elbows tucked in. Bring your hands back and clash your sit bones with both hands. From here, inhale, lift chest, lift legs. And as you breathe out, lengthen your legs back. Send your sit bones down to heels. Keep the neck relaxed, you're tucking chin to chest. As you breathe in, lift. And as you exhale, lengthen your legs back, shoulders are soft. One more like this, breathe in and lift. Exhale, release, lower down. Bring your hands under the shoulders and breathe into lower back, curl toes under. 
As you breathe out, press it back with downward facing dog. Lengthen through the spine. On the breath, walk your feet forward towards your hands. When you're there, clasp your hands behind your head and neck for neck traction. Press your feet to floor, and as you breathe in, lengthen belly away from pelvis. Pull your belly in, exhaling as you fold. Breathing into lower back as you lengthen ribs away from waist. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward. One more like this, deep breath. And fold on exhale. Inhale, release, release the hands to the floor. Push the floor away as you're coming up with a very relaxed neck. Then come down onto your mat, coming down onto into a seated position. From here, reach your uh, right leg straight forward and tuck your left foot in so the left heel is by the groin. Bring your right hand on the outside of your left thigh just above the knee and your left arm is reaching back towards your right hip. As you breathe in, lengthen spine, lengthen out of lower back. And as you breathe out, twist to the left as you reach your right leg forward. Breathe in, lift sternum. And as you breathe out, twisting towards the left, keeping the back of the skull aligned with sacrum. Deep breath, expand your ribs. And as you breathe out, twist to the left, keep pressing your left foot against your right thigh. Uh, inhale, release, and change. Straighten your left foot. Left foot reaches straight forward. Tuck your right foot in so the heel is by the groin. Foot presses against the thigh. Both feet are active. Bring your left hand to the outside of your right thigh. And your right hand is aligned with your sacrum. Reach it back. Or you can bring the hand all the way around onto your left hip or into clothing. Breathe in, lengthen spine. And as you breathe out, twisting towards the right. Now come feeling it's right from your pelvic bowl. Breathe in and lift belly away from pelvis. Diaphragm is lifting. And as you breathe out, you're twisting towards the right. Align chin with chest. Feel this right from coccyx. So press down into sit bone and breathe in length and spine. Lower ribs, weight, lower ribs mid ribs, upper ribs. And as you breathe out, twisting towards the right. Inhale, release. Walk your hands back to center. Straighten the legs, reach your legs forward. Then hands by hips. Keep the chest lifted, inhale. And as you exhale, lower down, keeping coming down onto your elbows and then lower all the way down to the floor. Bring your feet a little bit wider on the mat and relax your arms down by your side. As you lie down into Shavasana, your final pose. Close your eyes. And allow your body to let go completely. Relax the back of your skull. Relax your forehead. Relax your jaw. Good moment to open your mouth and move your jaw from side to side. Relax your upper back, relax your mid back and lower back and feel that coming back into your pelvic area, just feeling for that release there, relax your pelvis completely, feel as if you're sending sit bones down to heels and then relax your thighs, relax your shins, your calves, your ankles. And relax your feet and toes. Let your arms relax. Your shoulders, triceps. And relax your biceps and elbows. Relax your forearms, your wrists, your hands and fingers. Relax your belly. Relax your diaphragm. And relax your sternum. Relax your face and relax your mind.
allowing yourself to be still in mind and in body. Stay with feeling and feel the energy that moves through you right now, the energy that you have generated through your poses. Feeling how open your body feels. Begin to move your fingertips and tips of toes. And on your next breath, stretch, stretch out in a way that feels good to you. On the next breath, bend the knees and roll to your left side. Bringing your right hand onto the floor by your chest, inhale. Push the floor away on exhale with your right hand as you come up and use your left hand to support your head and neck. Coming into a seated, a cross neck seated position. Bring your hands together so the thumbs are lightly touching sternum. And give yourself this moment to notice how you feel. And feel it, feeling the energy that moves through you now. And feeling this right down from your pelvic bowl, moving this energy through the whole of your body. Congratulate yourself for your practice. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. We finish together with a deep breath. And exhale. Namaste. Thanks everyone. So no doubt you will feel some of this later on uh, in the next hours uh, after practice. So if you have Epsom salt, you can use Epsom salt, magnesium, dead sea salt, any of those to bathe in. It helps to recover your body at a quicker rate. Also, the weather is warm, it has been forecast to be so for the next week or so. So keep yourself hydrated, don't allow your body to be dehydrated. Uh, so uh, sip your water uh, throughout the day, don't wait until you're really thirsty to be wanting to sip your water. Have a fantastic weekend, look forward to seeing you again soon. I should be here on s Monday at 7am, uh, so enjoy the rest of the weekend. Have a great weekend and stay safe. Namaste.